ever had trouble with lens options for night games, stick around. I have some thoughts on the topic. Hello and welcome, I'm Eyeglass Tyler. Right now we're going to be talking about the best lens options for night games. The sport is baseball. We're gonna be talking all things clear, tints, transitions, just so you know your options and you can be more equipped to make the right choice for your pair in your environment. If at the end of this, you are ready to order, then do not forget about Sporter X. Definitely don't forget about our See Better guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or just doesn't work for you. Even if you get them in prescription, you have as long as 45 days with them to figure that out. Then you just reach out to us. We take care of you no matter what that means on our end. And also to get you even better equipped, we have opticians who are very friendly and knowledgeable who'd love to help you get it right the first time. So you can always reach out to us. Let's talk about lenses for night games. Of course, we're gonna start with talking about clear lenses because if you're playing at night, then you're looking to get the most light that you can to your eyes. And the only way to do that is with a good clear lens, especially with a good high quality anti-reflective coating. So clear obviously means no tint. What does the anti-reflective coating mean? Well, it's a coating applied to the front and back side of the lens that minimizes glare and reflections off the surface of the lens. That means less dispersion of light, less loss of light. That light then, instead of being reflected back, is making it through the lenses and into your eye. So you're getting more of that light that you need to see actually making it to your eyes. This is obviously good for getting the most light to your eyes possible, but also it's good at helping to minimize that dispersion of light, which translates to halos around light, specifically artificial light. And so why would artificial light be an issue? You're playing at night. You are probably also playing under stadium lighting. And so that means that you have less distraction and you can focus on the ball, focus on the game. When we're talking in our reflective coating, it also should be noted that there are blue light filters. If you're thinking, why are you talking about blue light? I'm not talking about using a computer. I'm talking about playing baseball at night. Well, it is easy to overlook because that is what we most commonly associate blue light with, but do keep in mind that blue light is just a part of that light spectrum, that visible light spectrum, and that shortwave damaging HEV blue light does exist in all light conditions. And so you would still be protecting yourself against that blue light damage, especially that long-term blue light damage uh, and in an anti-reflective coating. So you kind of mark more than one box off with the same lens feature. And so do check that out if you care about blue light protection, because it's definitely a good option for you. While we're talking about clear, there are some sport optimized lenses that you can get, whether you are looking for prescription or just a great custom lens for this scenario. What is a sport optimized lens? They are lenses that we at SportRx have used our expertise and knowledge about the sports as well as lens features to make the best lenses possible for different sports or for different sport environments or times that you're playing the sport. So in this case, we're talking about night. I don't know why I had to make that so difficult. The first lens that comes to mind is the closer. That is actually a good clear lens with our blue defense coating. So that would be the lens that you would go for if you're looking for that anti-reflective coating as well as that blue light defense. There's another one that you can check out and should if you ever have fogging issues. And that's called our Fog Fighter, specifically our Fog Fighter 1. We have a couple that are gonna perform a little differently. In this case, it's a clear lens with our fog defense coating. Just because the sun isn't out does not mean that you're not going to sweat. Of course you know that. Now, these lenses are available in prescription, like I mentioned, or we can just do them custom non-prescription in all of those top high performance brands. So don't miss out on those if you're interested in it. But now let's talk about some tinted recommendations. So these are going to be tints that have a very light tint. I wanna make it known that if you put any tint, I don't care how light or I don't care what color, then light transmission is going to be blocked or absorbed. You're not gonna get as much light to your eyes. Even in a bright yellow lens, it feels like things are so much brighter. Well, that tint is absorbing some light transmission. It's just also affecting your color vision to make colors more vivid and seem brighter, but still you're getting less light to your eyes. So if you're light sensitive, then this is probably gonna be less of an issue, but if you are not light sensitive and you're looking to get as much light as you can to your eyes, keep that in mind as we talk about these slight and light tints. 
if you do struggle with tracking the ball at night, there is a benefit, even though you are losing some of that light transmission, because with a light tint, if it's a contrast enhancing tint, it's gonna make it so that the ball pops a little more. The differences between colors are heightened, the depth perception cues can be enhanced. It can definitely be a big benefit to you. The colors that you would wanna be considering if you are liking this idea would be a rose, a lighter amber, even a light rose copper. Just make sure it's a light rose copper because the rose copper compared to a rose, true rose, a, light, a rose copper is gonna be a little bit darker because of that copper element. It's gonna be a bit denser of a tint, but those would be really good options to consider for low light use, but boosting color, boosting contrast. Another honorable mention is Prism Low Light. This is a really unique lens. I'm very excited about it. Unfortunately, not available in prescription, uh, but it does give you a little more true to color experience. Of course, it's not polarized. It is about as close as you can get to a totally clear lens while still improving contrast in natural low light and artificial light conditions. Now we're talking stadium lights again. Really, really cool lens. Definitely check that out if you don't need prescription. Let's talk about transitions for a moment because you are gonna get with transitions kind of best of both worlds, more or less. It's not a perfect solution to everything, but it definitely gives you a little more versatility and can give you a more well-rounded pair. What is transitions? If you don't know, it is another term for photochromic. If you don't know what that means, it's just light reactive. It's going to react based on light conditions. Largely, it reacts to UV exposure. So yeah, you're under bright stadium lights, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna get darker. Actually, it will stay light because it's really just reacting to UV light. Largely, there are some different options in the Transitions brand, but really what we would recommend in the Transitions or photochromic world would be something that goes from a clear, virtually clear state to a medium or dark tint, depending on what your needs are. It's just gonna give you more versatility because then you don't have to have multiple pairs. You can have one pair that'll give you good coverage and protection during the day, as well as a good clear or very good low light lens at night. I don't recommend transitions like I was kind of leading into about replacing your good tinted sunglasses uh, if you are playing in really bright sunny conditions during the day. It kind of is more of the middle medium pair for when you want versatility for a lens that gets lighter. I don't think that it's a good replacement because it's not perfect, but it does certainly suit a lot of needs. Uh, I just still think that it's a good idea for those really truly bright sunny days to have that perfect lens for those conditions, especially when you consider the fact that with the UV exposure issue, if you're wearing a hat and your lenses are shaded from the bill of the hat, then they're actually not gonna get as dark as they can get. So keep that in mind. There's more to talk about with transitions. I don't wanna get too in the weeds here. We've done lots of videos you can check out, or you can always reach out to our opticians and they can tell you what you can expect personally. I know we're talking about lenses, but I would be remiss if I didn't talk about frames at least a little bit, and it is still relevant because the thing that I think is a really good feature to look for in frames would be interchangeability. What does that mean? That means that you can have one frame and you can have multiple sets of lenses and swap them out as needed or based on the light conditions that you're in. So that's what I think is probably the top thing to consider when you're looking at frames because it does truly allow you to have the perfect lens for the different scenarios in the sport. Because baseball is played all throughout the day and in different weather conditions. And so I really think it's a good idea to be equipped with the perfect solution to your existing environment at that point in time. So that is a frame feature that I think is a really good idea when you're looking at frames that are ideal for the sport. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about baseball lenses, or perhaps you have prescription needs, well, be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly expert Sporter X opticians because they're eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more baseball frame reviews, unboxings, prescription baseball content, definitely check out our videos and blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. So that wraps up what you need to know about the best lens options for night games. I hope that this was what you were looking for information wise. I hope you learned something or that you are better equipped for ordering the right pair for you or your baseball player. 
Now, if you feel like I missed anything, definitely let us know in the comment section below. We'll get back to you. And also, if you are ready, do not forget about that Sea Better Guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. You never have to worry about getting the wrong thing. And also, for even more peace of mind, our opticians. I know I've only mentioned us like five times, but we would love to help give you even more peace of mind to make sure you're getting the right thing. So reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because that helps us quite a bit. You can find relevant videos over here and also we have great content on our social media outlets. I think you should check us out there too because I think you'd like it. And you can find us at SportRx.